Johnny Depp gets replaced as Disney abandons its new Pirates of the Caribbean ride. If you've ever visited a Disney park, you are aware that there are attractions in almost every area. All theme parks, for instance, have a version of the Haunted Mansion. The attraction simply goes by the name Haunted Mansion in certain places, such as Walt Disney World and Disneyland, and it takes visitors on a tour with Master Gracie. Other parks do have various plots, such as Disneyland Paris, which features Phantom Manor, an attraction of a similar design but with a completely different plot that centers on a killer ghost and a bride in a much darker and terrible narrative. The ride began at Disneyland Park, also referred to simply as Disneyland, which is owned and run by the Walt Disney Company and is the first and original Disney theme park. It is located at the Disneyland Resort in Anaheim, California. Walt and Roy Disney's creation, Disneyland, is now the most well-known theme park in the world and one of the most popular tourist destinations. Initially, the attraction was intended to be both a walk-through adventure and a wax museum. However, after the 1964 New York World's Fair's popularity with It's a Small World and Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress, Walt Disney and his Imagineers thought that audio animatronics, their most recent animation technology, was the most inventive method to tell a stirring pirate adventure. The popularity of Pirates of the Caribbean led to the decision to install the attraction in Magic Kingdom as well. The original plan for Pirates of the Caribbean was for it to be a standalone attraction, not based on a film, but with a movie made specifically for it. When Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest made its premiere in 2006, it was a huge hit with visitors. Despite having the same name and including a theme of pirates, the thrilling ride did not include well-known figures like Captain Jack Sparrow, Will Turner, Elizabeth Swan, Davy Jones, and others. All Disney Pirates of the Caribbean attractions would receive an IP overlay, making Captain Jack Sparrow the main character on all of the rides. Due to the fact that the plot now focused on Johnny Depp's search for the treasure, the Johnny Depp animatronic quickly gained enormous popularity. It was extremely advantageous for Disney to have the Jack Sparrow animatronics dominate the attraction because Johnny Depp's character was the only one to survive through all of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, Pirates of the Caribbean, At World's End, Pirates of the Caribbean, On Stranger Tides, and Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales.